Hey, good morning to you. Hey, I've got some great news. Jesus is Lord. The devil is defeated. And thank God the word works. 1 John 5, 14, 15. This is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will. This is the third time I've taught this. I'll be on it probably a couple of weeks. You got to get rid of your religious thinking. You got to throw that out. Cast it out because God's word is so big. This is one of those verses that's so big. People go, whoa, I don't know if I can believe that. Not, let me tell you, if you can find it in the word, you can receive it. Now, this morning, I got up early to cook breakfast for Pat and Zoe. And went in there last week. There was a couple of, well, three or four dozen eggs. So I was going to fix some eggs, make an omelet this morning. I picked it up. There was three little eggs in there. She had made it all for the holiday season. The kids all came over on Sunday. So I made the, I made the breakfast, and I thought, i got to have some more eggs. So I went to Walmart. I got some eggs, a few other things. I told Pat when I came out, I said, man, them eggs cost me, you know, $50, $55. Because uh, you can't go into Walmart without buying a whole bunch of other stuff. And I've told you this before. Walmart's got it laid out there because they want you to have it. Ooh, come on, I'm going to preach. God's got it laid out there because he wants you to have it. We had the family up and I had bought them a basketball goal. The, the kids just went to playing it. They didn't come out and say, can I play basketball? No, they knew it was for them and that I had put it out there. God provided it, but you got to go in and receive it. Now watch, I'm going to help you today. When I got the things that I wanted in my little buggy, I go down to the place to pay. I get in line. I put the stuff up and I have to pay. She gives me, she looks at me and she gives me how much it is, $54.95, something like that. I give her the medium of exchange, which was cash. I like to use cash. I don't like debit cards. They're all right. But I, I, so I gave her the cash and she gave me back a little bit of change because I think I gave her $60. So I got $6 and a nickel back. God... <clears throat> Is like Walmart. He put it out there because he wants you to have it. Now watch this. He also gave you the money to buy it with. Woo, come on. Several weeks ago, I took an old friend of mine over in Atlanta out, and I said, look, we're going to go to the store. You buy anything you want. Um, he's kind of had it tough. And so we took him to Walmart. He spent several hundred dollars, stuff that he needed. But when we got up to the counter, I paid for it. Or actually, Pat actually took the money out of her purse. We paid for it. Okay. I believe you're going to get this today. God laid it out for you in his will, and he gave you the medium of exchange with which you pay for it, which is faith, because God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith, and without faith it's impossible to please him, but you're not without it because God gave it to you. Now watch this. I just, I want y'all to get this. Healing is already in here, paid for by Jesus. Uh, divine life, divine health, the blessings, the blessing of God. It's all in here. God gave it to us, but we have to appropriate it with our faith. And so he gave you the gift of faith where you can get it all. Somebody said, that's too good to be true. It does sound too good to be true, but thank God it is true. Glory, glory, glory. God wants you to be blessed more than you want to be blessed, but you have to appropriate it by meditating in the word, receiving it, and you got the faith to get it. Thank God for the word. I got to go. Have a great day, saints, until I'm with you tomorrow. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.